this theme, it's uh, what we call psychoneuroic art, and it's from the Greek root psyche, meaning mind or spirit, and then also the Swahili word nuele, which means hair. So it's kind of, the idea is it's the combination of the spirit as um, expressed through the physical representation of the hair. It captures like the, the feeling and the mood, and it's all expressed through the background, through the hair. For me, I just think the hair just is so nuanced and has so many different meanings. And um, just to ex explore that um, is it's just really, it's really fun and compelling and it's very motivating for me. I just kind of describe myself as a person who's just trying to explore and experiment and see how far I can take a particular theme. Everything um, that's laying around my studio that I collect off of the streets, or um, I, I put it in my artwork, and everything usually kind of has a story, a backstory, or some kind of personal significance. Um, for instance, uh, some of the breakaway glasses from several times my car was burglarized and I actually used it in my paintings. I've used credit cards, I've used, um, I do um, pottery, broken shards of pottery. Uh, paper that I picked up from different places that I've traveled to. I use everything. If I could put a kitchen sink on a painting, I would. <laughs> you know, for a long time in art, there was this trend towards more abstract art, so things that weren't representational. And, um, you know, there's a certain amount of vitality to that, but it was also, it could be sort of emotionally distanced. But this kind of brings back kind of the more human element, and it combines it with sort of the vitality of the abstract art, but kind of the emotion of the, of the human element. The human figure is more realistic, more from kind of a classical tradition, and then the, the hair is kind of more fanciful, more abstract, and it, more dynamic. And so for me that's what's exciting about it, because it's really seeing these two traditions in art that diverged and for a long time weren't really communicating with each other. It's really seeing them, those come back together. Really, it's just it's a spiritual exercise for me. When I, you know, come to a canvas, it's it's really my form of meditation, my form of prayer, and this is this is how I express myself. I think my goal in every work of art is for the viewer to have like a visceral reaction. I kind of I kind of like to think about my art um, as akin to a, a gospel song. You know, I just really want people to feel it. Um, and to really respond to it um, at a very deep level.